So what we're going to demonstrate for you today is the immersion cleaning test uh, comparing Sugar Boost 30 against a couple industrial benchmarks, NP9 and APG. Um, here you can kind of see a summary of the method, the soil we use, and the formula for our detergent. Uh, this method is not an ASTM method, but it's based on a couple others, um, D5348 and D4488. It's kind of where we drew some inspiration for this test. Um, it's a qualitative test, but we use it as a kind of a quick screen before doing some more in-depth study. Uh, here you can see the food soil actually cast on the slide. Like you saw on the previous slide, it's lard, corn oil, egg powder, and some dye to make it a little easier to see. Um, we picked this because it's a pretty heavy-duty soil. And it also demonstrates three of the major categories you're looking at in hard surface cleaning. So what we have here is a 20-minute time-lapse video of our cleaning happening. Um, you can kind of see from the video that Sugar Boost is already doing a decent amount more work than our two benchmarks. And ideally what you'd hope to see at the end of the 20 minutes is you'd hope to see a clean slide with um, no more food soil on it. Here you can kind of see the slides coming out after 20 minutes of elapsed time. Again, Sugar Boost on the left, MP9, APG on the right. Uh, you can see a pretty clear difference here. So here's a graph that just shows um, some other surfactants that we used in the same method um, as we showed in the demonstration and how the Sugar Boost 30 compares to those. Um, and kind of the story and summary of this test is you can see that uh, Sugar Boost 30 is a green alternative that far outperforms some industrial standards that are looked at um, in MP9 and APG.